Now, CNN has exclusively revealed leaked tapes of Donald Trump where he openly discusses holding secret classified documents. Have a listen. Because we're talking about it. <laughs> and, you know, he said he wanted to attack Iran and what? And These are the papers. Did. It's pretty, oh, this was done by the military, given to me. Uh, I think we can probably, right? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to try to... Declassified. Yeah. As president, I could have declassified. Yeah. Now I can't. All right, joining me now, Washington, Washington correspondent for the Australian, Adam Crichton. Adam, thank you so much for joining us. Now, this is no absolutely damning for Trump because he seems to be admitting yeah, look, he is, is holding a classified it document. Is. Yes. Yeah, look, it's quite extraordinary. I mean, I think we could, you know, we could all agree, maybe at least most of us could agree that the New York indictment was, uh, was nonsense and it was excessive, but I think, you know, I think the Mar-a-Lago indictment, if you like, the documents indictment is is fully justified. And now we have this audio, uh, you know, we can hear him bragging about it. Or we can hear about the specifics of the particular document and that he obviously had the document and even knew that it wasn't declassified. Uh, so, look, it's not looking good for him on this on this charge. And, look, he's brought it all on himself. I mean, he knew that he took them. He knew that he probably shouldn't have took them. And he knew that he, he probably should have given them back. And he did none of those things. Uh, so, yes, I think you're right. It is, it is very damning. Well, he has come out and addressed this, or at least his supporters have. Um, and I, I saw some people today even said that he thinks the tape could exonerate him. I mean, what's the thinking there? Well, well, look, I mean, I don't really know, to be honest, what he's thinking there. But, I, I mean, I think, it's, I think it's pretty damning, and that's why all of the networks that hate him are showing it every five minutes. Uh, I mean, he, you know, he thinks, well, I mean, he said publicly that he could have declassified the document after mm. he took it, uh, uh, when he took it, rather. I mean, I think that's a fairly flimsy... I mean, his former Attorney-General, William Barr, who is generally a fan of Trump and tries to stick up for him. I mean, he's written lengthy essays that are very critical of Trump on this particular question and said that, you know, that basically he should be charged. Uh, so, so I think when your own Attorney General, who's generally a supporter and certainly a supporter over the New York case, you know, comes out and writes lengthy articles saying that, that, yeah. that you should be charged, I think that's, that's very damning. Trump has said, though, that he was just bragging uh, when he made those comments. So... You know, is the tape enough or would they need to prove that he was actually holding a classified document? Well, look, I mean, it's probably not enough. They would probably have to prove that. But look, just, just to take a step back a bit, I mean, Trump does make the argument that, you know, this shouldn't be dealt with the Espionage Act. I mean, this should be related to the Presidential Records Act, which mm. is a separate act, which has much lower penalties or indeed no penalties at all. And look, he does have a point. I mean, the Espionage Act is meant to be about espionage and it's never actually been used for espionage. Yeah. It's basically been used to, to indict uh, politicians largely and journalists, uh, including Julian Assange and, and more recently uh, Jack Tessera uh, and including former presidents now as well. So, you know, for many years, academics have debated the merits of this act, this 1917 Act, which is... You know, which you could argue is is very you know is very unconstitutional. Basically, gives the government mm. power to to indict people, put people in prison that take their documents. And mm. you know, one other point too, you have to wonder to how I mean, how really damaging is this to the United States? I mean, this is you know maybe my sceptical. I mean, people yeah, you know, it's, get very he's not doing like what Julian Assange but, did and and publishing yes, it all on exactly. WikiLeaks. And it you know while exactly. clearly he is guilty exactly. and he had exactly. classified documents, it would make sense yes. that it be dealt yes. with under the Presidential Records Act, not the Espionage Act. 